as many of you may have seen um, transplanting patients for MDS, uh, copper deficiency is an important thing to check for in the differential diagnosis of these patients. So we did recently publish on a case that uh, presented to our own clinic with a patient with a remote history of gastric bypass who um, presented with progressive cytopenias and actually on further evaluation also had some paresthesias. Um, and interestingly, bone marrow biopsy at the outside hospital um, was concerning for MDS, but there was also significant cytoplasmic vacuolization and erythroid and myeloid precursors, which is something that can be found in patients with copper deficiency. And unfortunately, this had not been previously checked, and um, the patient had been referred for an allo transplant due to this concern. And so, you know, we had checked a copper level, um, which was very low. And of course, these cytopenias resolved a upon supplementation and her PRC just did improve um, over time. And so um, just something that's really important to consider when we're receiving these you know, referrals from outside hospitals or other places, or even from our own colleagues um, to consider copper deficiency in all, all of these patients, but especially in patients with a, uh, with a history that might be um, consistent with being at risk for copper deficiency, such as zinc supplementation. I've had many of my patients taking high doses of zinc, uh, especially in the COVID era, to try to prevent COVID. So that's an important consideration in addition to these patients who have received surgeries or, or have um, IBD or uh, malabsorptive disorders.